It had been a while since I last traveled by train. Most of my trips were by plane or car, but something about this upcoming journey made me long for a slower pace, to experience the world passing by through the window, one frame at a time. I had booked a ticket for a long-distance train ride, not just for the destination, but for the journey itself. I'd read countless stories of how train travel offered an unmatched sense of adventure, and I was eager to rediscover it for myself. The station was bustling with people when I arrived. There was a kind of energy in the air, as travelers shuffled to and fro, luggage in hand, each on their own adventure. The smell of freshly brewed coffee wafted through the air from the station cafe, and I grabbed a cup as I waited for my train to arrive. It felt like the beginning of something special, a break from the rush of airports and highways, a return to the romance of the rails. When the train finally pulled into the station, its sleek, silver body glistening in the afternoon sun, I felt a surge of excitement. I boarded, finding my seat near the window. It was spacious, much more comfortable than the cramped airplane seats I was used to. The soft hum of the engine and the gentle creak of the train as it prepared to depart filled the air. As we pulled out of the station, I settled in, already feeling a sense of calm wash over me. The city quickly faded behind us, giving way to sprawling suburbs and, soon after, to open countryside. I had always loved watching the world go by from the window of a train. There was something magical about seeing the landscape change so effortlessly. Fields of green stretched out as far as the eye could see, dotted with farmhouses and the occasional herd of cattle. The rhythmic sound of the train on the tracks became a comforting background to my thoughts. As we chugged along, I decided to explore the train. I walked through the carriages, noting how each one had its own unique character. There was a dining car with elegant booths and white tablecloths, where people were sipping wine and enjoying their meals. I passed through sleeper cabins, their tiny, cozy beds neatly made up for overnight travelers. The atmosphere on the train was relaxed, almost nostalgic, as if we had all stepped back in time to a simpler era of travel. Eventually, I returned to my seat and struck up a conversation with the person sitting across from me, a middle-aged man who was also traveling alone. We swapped stories about our past travels and shared our mutual love for train journeys. He had taken this route many times before and regaled me with tales of the towns and cities we would pass along the way. His enthusiasm was contagious, and I found myself eagerly looking forward to the rest of the trip. One of the most delightful things about train travel is the people you meet along the way. Everyone seemed more open and friendly, as if the slower pace allowed for deeper connections. I soon found myself chatting with others in my carriage, an elderly couple celebrating their anniversary, a young backpacker traveling across the country, and a family with children excitedly peering out the windows at the passing scenery. There was a sense of camaraderie on the train, as if we were all part of a shared adventure. As the train rolled through a series of tunnels and emerged into a beautiful valley, I was struck by the sheer beauty of the landscape. Snow-capped mountains loomed in the distance, and a sparkling river wound its way through the valley below. The sun was beginning to set, casting a warm golden glow over everything. I watched in awe, grateful to be experiencing such natural beauty in the most serene way possible, by train. The dining car was calling my name, and I decided it was time for a proper meal. I made my way there, taking a seat by the window. The menu was surprisingly diverse, with options ranging from gourmet sandwiches to hearty soups. I ordered a grilled chicken dish, along with a glass of wine, and settled in to enjoy my meal as the scenery continued to unfold outside. The combination of good food, great company, and breathtaking views made for a perfect dinner. After my meal, I returned to my seat, feeling full and content. The train was now moving through a dense forest, the trees standing tall and close to the tracks. The soft light of the setting sun filtered through the branches, creating a dappled pattern on the ground below. The world outside seemed so peaceful, and I found myself lost in thought as the train gently rocked from side to side. Night began to fall, and the train transformed into a cocoon of warmth and comfort. The lights inside dimmed, creating a cozy atmosphere. Some passengers had already retreated to their sleeper cars, while others stayed up, quietly reading or chatting in hushed tones. 
I wrapped myself in a blanket, the gentle lull of the train, and the sound of the wheels on the tracks lulling me into a relaxed state. As the stars began to twinkle in the dark sky outside, I leaned back and closed my eyes. The train was now moving through a remote area, far from any city lights, and the darkness outside made the stars seem even brighter. I stared up at them through the window, feeling a sense of awe at the vastness of the universe. There was something deeply meditative about being on a train at night, moving through the world in such a quiet, almost dreamlike way. The next morning, I woke to the soft sound of the train's whistle. The sun was just beginning to rise, casting a pale pink light over the horizon. I stretched and made my way to the window, eager to see where we were. We were passing through rolling hills now, the green pastures bathed in the soft morning light. It was a peaceful start to the day, and I felt refreshed and ready for whatever lay ahead. Breakfast was served in the dining car, and I made my way there to enjoy a simple meal of toast and coffee. I struck up a conversation with a fellow passenger, a woman who was traveling to visit family in a distant city. We talked about our lives, our travels, and how this train journey felt like a step back in time, away from the hectic pace of modern life. It was refreshing to connect with people in such a meaningful way. As the train continued its journey, I spent the day alternating between reading, watching the passing scenery, and chatting with other passengers. We passed through small towns and villages, each one with its own unique charm. I couldn't help but imagine what life was like in these quiet, out-of-the-way places. The train offered a glimpse into worlds I might never have seen otherwise. At one point, the train stopped at a particularly scenic town, allowing passengers to disembark for a short break. I took the opportunity to stretch my legs and explore. The town was quaint, with cobblestone streets and small shops lining the main square. I grabbed a coffee from a local cafe and strolled around, soaking in the atmosphere. It was a delightful interlude before returning to the train. Back on board, I settled in for the final stretch of the journey. The scenery had shifted once again, this time to vast open plains stretching out beneath a wide blue sky. There was something calming about the endless horizon, the way the world seemed to go on forever in all directions. I leaned my head against the window, letting the gentle rhythm of the train soothe me. As we neared our destination, I couldn't help but feel a sense of bittersweet anticipation. The journey had been so enriching, so full of small moments of beauty and connection. I didn't want it to end. But all journeys must come to a close eventually, and I knew that this train ride would stay with me for a long time after I disembarked. Finally, the train slowed as we approached the station. The familiar sounds of a bustling platform began to fill the air once again. I gathered my belongings, my heart full of gratitude for the experience. This train journey had been more than just a mode of transportation. It had been a chance to slow down, to reconnect with the simple joys of travel, and to meet people I would never have encountered otherwise. As I stepped off the train, I felt a wave of nostalgia already washing over me. I glanced back at the silver train, now resting at the platform, and smiled. There's something special about train travel, something timeless that no other form of transportation can replicate. I knew that I would be back on the rails soon, chasing that same feeling of freedom, adventure, and quiet reflection.